Hi, my name is Alok Shrivastava and I welcome you to this Ansible training video series. So this is the series where we are going to learn a lot about Ansible, how Ansible has changed the world, how the world is moving on to from sysadmin to the DevOps and the automation, why there are no more sysadmin jobs and how and where Ansible is responsible for it and other configuration management tools also obviously. So we are going to learn all about this. It's going to be an easy, close to the production scenarios training. And in this first video, we will be just discussing about the benefits of Ansible and what is a configuration management tool. And then we will be moving ahead, right? So when the prerequisite of this training is that you should be minimal RSCSA or RSC certified. You should have a very good hands-on on Linux. And if you have a certification, perfect, you are in. Uh, right guys, so why we need automation? Now currently, uh, during your RSCSA or, or RSC trainings, you have learned about how to configure a server, right? You can configure a single machine like we I, I, I have here. But when we are talking of data centers, it doesn't have one machine, it, it has got hundreds of machines. So how am I supposed to manage those hundreds and thousands of machines? There is no way I will be able to do it manually, either by hopping from machine to machine or by doing SSH. I cannot do it. I cannot just SSH on 100 machines and do, do the job. It will be a real pain. Here comes the configuration management tools, the automation tools. So Ansible is one of the biggest or the most favored configuration management tool currently in use. The uh, reason behind this is that it is agentless. Number one, we don't need to have some agent or a software component installed on the remote machines, which we intend to manage. And second, the language is very easy. It's simple, it's in YAML. And contrary to a general belief, you don't need any programming skills to learn Ansible or any configuration management tool. Just keep it in mind. All you need is a zeal to learn something new to move ahead in the career. That's all. So we will be starting from here. And in the first video, we will be just talking about the features of Ansible, the capabilities of Ansible. But so far, we know we normally know that the Ansible is capable of only configuring the, the servers. Perfect, there is no doubt about that. But apart from configuring the servers, Ansible is capable of controlling your network, your uh, Cisco routers and switches, virtually anything within your IT infrastructure. You can manage it via Ansible. That's the beauty. And that's where the job is. And that's where the money is. So let's start and understand the basic things. Come on. I'll be doing it on this machine. The machine, you, can, you will be seeing it right here. Let's start it. So guys, uh, as we had just uh, talked about it, Ansible is basically used for automation. Uh, to be honest, it is used for a lot of things apart from just uh, configuring your uh, RHEL machines or Linux boxes. It is used, it can be used though we are not going to cover it, but it can be used to configure your routers and switches and a lot of things. So Ansible Automation is an enterprise framework as you can see it right there on the screen. Currently it is being uh, a product of Red Hat. So we have to use their uh, name with honor. So Ansible engine or the main is the Ansible controller where we will be writing the code. So there are two components involved in the Ansible. One is the controller and another are the nodes or we can call it the remote servers. So we will be working on the controller and the things will be then we will be pushing the things onto the remote servers. Uh, sorry. Right. So why Ansible? Number one, the language is same. The We will be, be writing the code in the YAML which is very easy to understand. and. Contrary to the popular belief, you don't need 
any coding skills you don't need to be very good in c c plus plus or python or any other programming language you can just straight away start with ansible provided there is a small prerequisite that you should have some working knowledge of linux so, and the tasks are executed in order there is no no problem in that it can be used by your team members and it's very powerful it's a configuration management tool it can be used for the orchestration also can be used for the network automation as i have told you apart from configuring your linux boxes it can be used to configure a lot of things i will be coming on to it and the best part which everyone says is that it is a agentless agentless guys means i don't need to install any application or a package on the machines which i intend to manage all i need is a ssh connection in case of the linux boxes and in case you are using windows so the win rm will be used for the connectivity issues so that so there are no agents so there so it's easy to manage if we can start away immediately and remember one thing guys that ansible works on push means whatever you are working here on the controller so you will be doing a push to the remote servers the remote servers are not going to pull the things it's based on the push then the second is what can i do using ansible as i have told you it is not merely for configuring your servers remember this i can configure firewalls i can configure load balancer storage containers network devices cloud i can do a hell lot of things using ansible the entire it can be managed using ansible it's a configuration management tool it's a orchestration tool it can do provisioning ci cd security compliances a lot of stuff and what can we manage oh that's great so these are the things ansible can manage for you ansible can manage your cloud services whether it's on aws azure digital ocean rack space we will be focusing here see how small we are learning for ansible but that is where we have to start we can configure or maintain docker and storages and windows machine and cisco devices devops we can do a lot of things with jenkins slack hipchat a lot of things can be done or managed by the ansible but we will be focusing in this video series only on the configuration of the rel servers so we will be writing the playbooks we will not be going into how we will be writing the playbook but playbooks are the the main essence of ansible that that is what we will be learning how to write the playbooks so this is your ansible automation engine the controller it contains some inventory inventory means these are the components guys you need to remember this inventory means the machines which i will be managing the playbooks are the code which i write and then it can be used to configure your host which we are doing we will not be configuring how to uh, use or control or configure the network devices and the cloud we will be focusing ourselves here how to manage the host not the other stuff so the first thing first we need to do is we need to head away start with the installation part so guys i will recommend you to have three machines one will be the controller and two machines will be acting as the nodes so let's start with the installation part and let's move on just stop this video and we will be starting the second video thank you very much